So Muhammad says, uh, hello guys, how can I implement a security policy for Microsoft 365 to stop syncing passwords with Gmail accounts for all employees? So there is a setting in your, in underneath settings in the admin panel uh, for the org uh, about syncing with what they called um, personally sensitive information. Yeah, right. um, that. But there's another one, and it might be why it's doing it. Um, let me. I'm going to pull it up real quick. I can't think of the name of it, but give me one sec here. <clears throat> so under security and privacy, uh, is that it? Account linking. <clears throat> Uh, so allow the users to connect their Azure AD and MSA accounts could be called depending on what they're doing. I I don't know, but that might be part of it if they use Bing, but that's only associated to Bing, right? So I don't know. I need a little more information, but that could potentially be part of the root calls because FYI, it's turned on by default in every new tenant. So. I, mean, I also have more questions on it because are we talking the Gmail, the M365 syncing to Gmail accounts? Are we talking also about do they're through a browser and is it Edge and can you do something with your Edge and some of the settings? Is it like there's a lot of things are we talking? Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of other component tree that could be going on. We're talking Gmail potentially more than we're talking M365 as well. So actually, that that is a good. That's you're right on because in the profile preferences of like Edge, you can go to the settings and that's do right. the automatic profile settings, yeah. and just because uh, that's the identity control, right? Yeah. That's probably why they're syncing. So you can go out. It's going to be a browser tweak, though. Yeah. But and that's at the user level. Is there anything you can do from a policy, security policy level at the corporate level? Not if they've already cached it in their browser and made in the changes there, unless what well, you technically an org policy could be sent out. Right. So like so, a group policy. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd be able to control the app via group policy. We don't know if it's if it's, uh, you know, Edge or if it's Chrome or mm -hmm. if it's mm, Firefox right. or whatever. Yeah. What are they um, using? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's all going to be a policy based on the org or the domain. Um, yep. and, and it's it's just going to take away the ability for those to sync um, between because they introduce that capability when you install like Firefox now it comes up and says do you want to sync your your yeah. bookmarks and settings um, with and then you can select Chrome you can select uh, um, Edge you know whatever uh, so that's yeah, something a and it, uh, the question I want to take a little further though is you're just talking about the browser sharing passwords. What about your employees when they install things like one password? Uh, right, password last pass. All the, the that, last that was exactly my point. You could, you'd have to also then block access to those yeah. domains for those services. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I am wondering um, if there's a way you could set a conditional access policy to not prompt to sync. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that would work or not. Um, but yeah. I, I just I feel like it's going to be more from a, a policy setting um, or, or policy. I think it's more from my <laughs> governance uh, yeah. company oh, yeah, policy exactly. is, you know, yeah. what your users are doing with their passwords um, because they if you unless you're going to stop the ability for them to cache passwords, um, not only in their browser, but also stop them from being able to cache it in a password manager. You're not really solving any problem. You know, you just you just you're kicking one can down the road because it's it's still gonna it's still gonna be an issue. So is the I mean the the answer to that to require as a company policy to use Authenticator and well they use some some method that you're okay with right because I mean yeah. every company is going to be different on what they're okay with um, from a security standpoint. Maybe they don't even have a security team. You know, maybe this company mm -hmm. they work for, you know, is just kind of you know as the the admins just making it up as they go along. Um, but maybe they have full governance and the audit team has to get involved and the security team has to be involved and all these other, you know, legal and everyone else uh, in order to create this this policy. Who knows? So 
you do have some options under conditional access policy to block um, some browser authentications. And um, it's something you'd have to play with. You'd have to get like it first. It's got to be based off your governance, whatever that says. Right. And then pushing it out. I mean, I feel like between a couple different scenarios, between a, a group policy, um, conditional access, you could probably get it, you know, to a point. I don't. But those are things to try. Definitely. Definitely things to try because definitely I can turn off. I can say on, you know, for authenticating to another browser and syncing, I can turn that off through a conditional access policy, it looks like. So. Thank you.